today. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Exactly. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. And he's got it. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Phillip Lindsay with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Jags have taken the early lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the game. And we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. They'll run on first down. Robinson, and he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Brings up third down. On third down, it's Robinson. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way down to the 39. A big connection on that one. 42 yards. Second quarter now from Jacksonville, and it's the Jags with the football. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. A throw over the middle taken in, and he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. On first down, Robinson. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 21-yard line. On second down now, it's Robinson. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Rob Gronkowski, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars are able to widen their lead. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big. All right, the offense back on the field here. Let's see what they can do on this play. Kaepernick now on first down. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. Oh, yeah. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. 
Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. James Robinson with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Jaguars had six to their lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk So this offense will head back out there. They're in excellent field position after the fumble recovery. They'll run on first down. Robinson, and he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. That's, That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're secure in the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And down inside the 15 he goes. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Juju Smith-Schuster as the first half is winding down. And the Jaguars add on to their lead. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. On first down, it's Robinson. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. Hey, we don't need no more penalties right here. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. They'll keep it on the ground. Robinson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four. Brings up third and six. Here's Kaepernick. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That was just a good example of taking what the defense gave him. No one opened downfield, knew where his safety valve was, swung it out to him. He gets upfield and picks up the first down. Well done all the way around. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. Now a flag comes in from the umpire after a gain of about four. And this looks like it's going to be holding. So that one will be accepted. Still first down. They'll try the left side. It's Robinson, and he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield, 
He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Rolling to his right. He'll run it. He finds an opening past the 40. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A breakdown defensively there as the scramble is going to set him up with a much more manageable third down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. At the 47-yard line. the end of the third quarter and that is gonna do it for this third quarter of action we'll return with more after this break you're watching the nfl on ea sports right back to him on first down and he goes across midfield and down into houston territory it's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants a football in his hands. He's had a good day. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Get ready, get ready, get ready. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. And here's a throw caught by Gronkowski. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 yards there for Jacksonville and a first down as well. At the 31-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And I think that's a pretty good illustration of why they try to get the football into his hands out of the backfield. That was something else. And we talk so much from a defensive perspective about scheming and finding ways to take away the run. That means the offense has to devise different ways to get the ball in the hands of their guy out of the backfield. Find open space, let him run, and big things can happen. And they did right there. And the next-gen stats show him reaching at a top speed of 20 miles an hour. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the Jags are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead. First down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it. And you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down. Have to stop them. Have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. They'll try and run. This is Robinson. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And for them, this train, it just keeps rolling, doesn't it? Well on their way to yet another victory. Yeah, it's almost a runaway, isn't it? And you just wonder how anyone could stop this. they got full momentum going, full confidence going. So this offense will head back out there. They're in excellent field position after the fumble recovery. They'll run on first down. Robinson, and he'll have a gain of three to the 33. Robinson, the ball carrier. Terrell Burgess on the tackle. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 33-yard line. 
So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense was that they held the ball pretty well. You know, time of possession, exactly what they were looking for in this one. And that helped out their defense. Didn't have to be out there the entire time. So when you do that and you're out there fresh playing, off a little extra spring in your step, and it showed up in this one. They had a ton of spring in their step. Impressive victory. So for the Jaguars, the streak continues as they push their mark to a perfect 12-0 now on the year. And they'll have another home date next week as the L.A. Rams come to town. Meanwhile, for Houston, this loss cost them in the playoff chase as they fall back to 7-5 on the year. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts.